say addition the old-fashioned way we're not saying that it's a bad way of doing addition we're not saying it's a it's not a good way of doing addition in fact most people that I meet today prefer to do addition problems in the way that I'm going to show you right now I personally resort to this method occasionally however I find that learning the methods we're going to learn in the next few lessons when we do mental addition I actually prefer those in a lot of cases because it is actually easier than this method and you can do the problems much easier in your head once you get practice at them. So anyways, let's start by looking at what this old-fashioned way of doing addition is. Well, to understand this, you have to understand the previous lesson which involved adding numbers using base 10 blocks. If you don't understand adding numbers in base 10 blocks, you're not going to understand how to do this very well. You'll still memorize a lot of the steps, but it's not going to make a whole lot of sense. So Let's talk about what we did already. Let's say we had numbers like uh, we were adding numbers, let's say 150, let's say 158 plus 124. Let's say we added those two numbers together and I said, okay, use the base 10 blocks. Well, you started out by making 158 by doing this 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then the 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> yeah, they're adorable. Anyway, so we have now to make 124. We're going to add, which means we're going to put more pieces down, and we're going to add 100. So let's put that 100 there. We're going to add the 20, which is 10, 20, and we're going to add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And if I said, okay, what's the answer? You're going to, first of all, you're going to make sure that there's no excess blocks and if we do have any excess which means too much we're gonna have to do some regrouping and how many was too many remember last class we raised our arms in the air showed our armpits and said 10 was too many and that's right 10 is too many pieces so let's double check these and make sure we don't have too many let's make our slots here first of all so we have our ones tens and hundreds so let's count these we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have our ten over here and two more makes 12. 12 is too many. Remember that. That's more than 10. So we have too many pieces again. So we're going to move over a 10. Scratch this out. What does that make when we clicked them together in the last lesson? We made a 10. So we moved it over and we put it right. Let's change the color so that we can keep track of it. Let's turn it blue. We put it right. Oh, no, that's not blue. Let's make blue right there that's our 10 that came from this blue connected down here now if i told you look at this number 12 where did the 12 come from well we just counted the blocks there was 12 ones right eight ones here and four of the ones there makes 12 ones and we 12 remember was too many so we had to move over a piece we had to move over a 10 look if I asked you, here's the number 12, which of these two digits is the 10? Is it that one? No, that's the ones. Is it that one? Woo! Yeah, that's the tens. So we're going to move the tens over to that section, and there it is. It's right here. And so then we double check the tens. By the way, if we move this one over, gone. What's left? Just the two. There they are. <laughs> there they are. Aren't they adorable? There's two of them right there. Now let's check the tens. Make sure we don't have too many of those. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight's fine. And we have how many hundred? Two hundred. So looking at our answer, we have two hundred eighty-two. Two hundred eighty-two. One more example. If we had the number 256 and we want to add it to 269. And I said draw these blocks. Let's do this together. So we have 200. Let's put that down. 1, 2. We have 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And we have 6 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Check it over. Yes, we do. We're going to add. Here's add. 200. Here's our 2. 60. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 9 ones. So we're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to put our blanks so we can pop in our answer at the end. We're going to put 1s, 10s, 100s. And now we're going to count them and make sure we don't have too many pieces. So let's check these. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, here's our ten. Let's circle them. But how many do we have all together? We have ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let me get rid of that mark. We have 15 pieces. So I'm going to put 15 here. 15 is too many. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over a 10. Here's our 10. Let's make it pink just like that. Scratch it out. Don't forget to move it right there. That's the 10, right? That's the 1. We don't care about the 1. We care about the 10. The 
10. So we're going to move it over right there. Now let's check our 10s, make sure they're okay. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, too many. So we're going to circle 10. Be very careful that you circle the right amount, otherwise you're going to get the wrong answer. And so we have, let's see, we have 12 of them. Again, we're going to move over these 10s. Now let's color code them different. Let's make them... Um, Let's make them green. We're going to color code these. Here, let's circle it also in green, like that. And we're going to scratch them out. And what are they going to become when you move them over? It's going to be 100, right? So let's put it right there. Now, this might get a little confusing. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Um, out of these two numbers, which of them is the 100? You're going to say, well, neither of them is the 100. This is the 1s and this is the 10s. Well, you know what? This 12, this spot over here, this is the one spot. This whole section is the one section. So that must mean that this is going to be here, the 10 section. This whole zone in this area, this is the 10 section. So this is going to be the ones area. That means this is going to be the tens and this is going to be the hundreds. Look, if it doesn't make sense, just remember this. The number on the left is the number that's going to keep moving. So we're going to bump the number over and we're going to carry it over to that side and leave the two in this spot. So now this one has moved over here. This one over here has moved over there to become a hundred. And so now let's count our hundreds. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. We're going to put the five down and we're going to see our answer is going to be 500. The two is still there and a five in the ones. Remember, the one has moved over to become the 10, and this one over here, that was there, this number one, moved over to become 100. So we have now an extra 100. We have 525 as our final answer. Look, if this is, again, a little confusing, just rewind the tape. I, I promise you, if you keep watching it over and over again, it'll make a little bit more sense. I'm going to show you the steps now on how to organize this without the base 10 blocks. So we have a problem. We have 362 and we're going to add 124 to it. First thing you're going to do using this old fashioned method is you're going to stack the numbers so that the place values line up because we're interested in the hundreds matching up with the hundreds, tens with the tens and the ones with the ones. So we're going to put our first number 362 and below it we're going to write 100. 24. And then what you're going to do is you're going to change colors. <laughs> I can do it. I don't know about you. Well, you got some board markers. You could do it. So we're going to change their colors and we're going to say, okay, these here are our ones. So I'm going to circle. I'm going to split them up. Actually, I'm going to put a line right through them. And that's just going to indicate I have ones over here and my tens are in the middle and my hundreds are on the left side. Now check it out. I have two ones here and I have four ones there. What's two and four? It's going to make six ones. And I leave it in the one section. Then I move on to the tens. Here's my tens. I'll put a T down. T for tens. Six tens and two tens makes eight tens. So I'm going to put an eight in the ten zone. And then I have three hundreds with one hundred makes four hundreds. And there's my answer. 486. Where it gets a little bit tricky is when you have to regroup without using the block. So let's check and see what that looks like. We have 268 plus 115. So again, first step is you're going to line the numbers up. So you're going to put 268 first. That's the number. And you're going to add 115. 115. That's right, hey? I hope you've caught that because look, the place values don't match up. I have my ones over here and I have ones over here, but they're over top of the tens and, and these hundreds are over top of the tens and this number. It's a mess, so let's fix it up. So we have 115 sitting right underneath of it. They have to line up. So I'm going to put a line through them like that, just to organize it a bit, make sure my place values are together. And so let's do this as an answer. We have eight ones and five ones. How much does that make? Well, we have eight plus five. Count on your fingers. Here's a trick. Start at the bigger number. Put it in your head. Put this in your head, okay? And then count five more. So start with the bigger number. Put the bigger number in your head. The big number in your head. Eight. Eight sitting in my head. Five more. Put five fingers out and start counting. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now remember 13 was too much, right? Because it's more than 10. So you take this one and you move it over here. So it looks like this. 13 becomes like that. I'm carrying that one over and I'm leaving the 3. So out of these numbers, at 13, the 3 stays and the 1 gets carried over there. So now let's count these. We have 10s. We have 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 1 more 10 is 8. Eight and then uh, these ones going to make three. So our answer is going to be three hundred eighty. Try another one. So in this example, we have five hundred sixty-two plus one hundred seventy-three. Let's line the place values up. We have five hundred sixty-two. We have one hundred seventy-three. They line up so beautifully like that. And I'm going to put my little sections down. So I have my ones here, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, and I'm going to add the place value. So I have two 
I have two ones and I have three ones. What does that make? Makes five ones. I have six tens and seven tens. What's six plus seven? Again, put the big number in your head. That's going to be the seven, and then count six more. Seven, put it in your head. Seven's in your head. Make sure it's in there. Seven, put it in your head. Put six more. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, look at that. Thirteen's too many. So you know what we do? We move one of them over. We regroup. We always regroup with the second number. We're going to bump it over there. So then it's gone like that. Just bump it over to the next section. And then you have five and one and one makes seven, and you have your answer set up. 735. Okay, last example, 468 plus 278. Let's try this one. Stack the place values, 468, 278 goes right below it. And let's solve this. We have to put our lines in between. And then let's add the 8 and 8. We have 8 ones and 8 ones. What's 8 and 8? Well, take your time with this. You're going to get 16. Now, we have 16. That's too many, right? So we're going to regroup. Which of these is going to regroup? The tens, right? So we're going to move the tens, this one here. We're going to move it over there and then scratch it out. We don't need it anymore. It's right here. Haha, <laughs> see? Then we're going to add the tens. So we have one here plus six makes seven. And then plus another seven makes 14. Okay, again, we, that's too many pieces. So we're going to have to regroup by moving this over. So scratch it out. Don't forget to put it up here. Yeah, just move it over. And then you're going to have four plus two plus one is going to make seven. And we're going to get 746. Now it's your turn. I want you to try these questions, organize them as neatly as you can by stacking the place values, and we'll come back in a moment and check our answers. Okay, we're back. So for the first question, you should have wrote this. You should have wrote 160. Now this one's a little bit tricky, but watch. You have 160, and that's the first number, and 28. Where's the 28 going to go? Well, if you line up the place values, you shouldn't have much of a problem because the 8 is going to be in the 1 spot, and it's going to go underneath the 1s for the other number, the 6. So then the twos, the, the two over here is going to be in the ten spot. So it's going to go underneath the number in the tens over there. And lining them up, we can now split them up and organize them like this. We can put our lines in between. And then just add the numbers up. We have six ones and eight ones should make 14 ones if you count them properly. 14's too many, so we're going to scratch this one out. It's going to move over here. We have two on one makes four. And we have one and hey, what's below the one? Nothing. So you're just going to say 1 plus nothing. Here, let's put a plus sign. 1 plus nothing makes nothing. Oh, no, what am I saying? 1 plus nothing. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm the math teacher. 1 plus nothing makes 1, not nothing. All right, give yourself a check mark for saying 144. 144. And let's actually make it a little bit neater. We have 144. We don't want any scribbles. If you have an eraser, erase it. 258 plus 128. Let's organize that one. Here's 258 plus 128 added up together will get us lines in between. We'll get us 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 is too many, so I'm going to move that one over here. Okay, and the 6 is going to stay. 5 and 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 2 and 1 is 3. There's my answer, 386. And the last question, we have green coming up. So we have 364. 364 plus 488, 488, okay, we have our lines in between, this is getting small, so you're going to have to really focus on this, we have 8 plus 4, what's 8 plus 4 everyone, 8 in my head and 4 on my fingers, 9, 10, 11, 12, so we have 12, oh man, look at that, 12 is too much, so we're going to move the 1 over here, and we're going to get 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 1 is 15, so I'm going to put 15 here, oh look at that, 15 is too many, so what stays? The 5. So what's gone? The 1. It moves over here. That's called regrouping. 4, 3, and 1 is going to make 8. And here's my answer. 852. 852. Great job, everybody. You've just learned how to solve addition problems using the old-fashioned way. And like I said before, it's not the best strategy to use to solve addition problems in your mind. But it's still a wonderful method to use when you have a piece of paper and a pencil. And I urge you to keep practicing this and get better and better at it. And also, try to understand the logic of what you're doing and why you're doing it. Why you're carrying numbers the way that we carry them. And, and regroup them the way that we do. And I promise you're going to get even better at this. Look, in the next few lessons, we're going to learn how to do these sort of problems. Air minds. Crazy. I'll see you then.